Hello, today I want to talk with you in regards to an educational thinker that most people around the world and in the United States especially are aware of, Noah Webster. And he was famously known for um, being the father of the English language. He was born in 1758 and he died in 1853. The dictionary that he wrote was the English Dictionary, and it consisted of over 70,000 words. He was considered um, to be a leading educator and lexicographer in the early national period. Um, he was also a newspaper editor. He was against slavery and was also known as a political activist. Um, when he was 16 years old, his family recognized um, what a gift of language that he had. So at 16, he enrolled at Yale College. He graduated from there in 1782 and ended up teaching at multiple schools after that. He wrote over 30 textbooks, including the History of the United States, which was America's first full-length history book. Um, he published a review, um, revised edition of the Bible also in 1833. So there were many books that Webster wrote, many that we probably aren't even aware of. Um, he had wonderful educational ideas, multiple of them. He believed that educators should teach children um, to be submissive and respectful to those in authority and also to the laws of our nation. Um, he also believed in morality and any anything that duties or laws that one would need to be abiding by on a social level as well. He believed that public schools should just use the English language, should not be using any other languages to teach in their instruction unless it was a non-English speaker that needed to transition from their language to the English language he felt it could temporarily be used, but then the English language needed to be used after that. Um, he believed that female education um, should be advocated for so long as the women did not assume men's roles in business. He also believed that schools were not conducive to learning as they had poorly trained teachers insufficient textbooks and also a lack of supplies including desks. He wanted children to be able to learn from American books instead of the books of England. He also had multiple educational impacts and influences. His Blueback Speller, which was also known as the American Spelling Book, uh, was published in 1783 and it sold nearly a um, hundred million copies between 1783 and the early 1900s. Um, it was intended to develop a literate and nationalistic character to shape useful, virtuous, and law-abiding citizens with strong attachments to Federalist America. Um, he also worked to form a definite but standardized version of the English language, which became known as an American Dictionary of the English Language, which was published in 1828. He personally felt that standardized language usage and spelling were integral to building a new nation. He also helped to found um, Amherst Academy in 1815, as well as Amherst College in 1821 and multiple other schools, because as mentioned, he felt local education was not conducive to learning and lacked many aspects to really help children succeed in education. Webster is also considered to have freed America from intellectual inferiority and his dictionary promoted English courses to be included in school curriculums. According to Tim Cassidy in the early US, Webster's ideas on language were poorly received. Many did not appreciate his plans to get rid of British linguistic um, stands and only use American spellings uh, and vocabulary. Many newspapers and magazines, as a matter of fact, published articles stating that his ideas about language were horrible irregularity and illiterate and pernicious. As a Christian, raised in a very traditional home where I was taught the Bible and to love America and what it was founded on, I agree with Noah Webster and his views on language and education. I also believe the values taught to children, such as respect for authority and laws, 
and submissiveness are exactly what is needed in our schools today. I'm fascinated by the role Noah Webster has had on the world. I believe his impact stems from his willingness to follow God and to stand up for what he believed in. Thank you.